Be the first on the island with the daily news in high definition. You're watching Phuket News TV. The new Emerald Central Condominium, starting from 3.1 million baht. Visit the booth at Central Festival. The new Emerald Central Condominium. Quality living, quality condo. This is News Today. Swati Ka. The new bus service from Phuket's airport to the main west coast beaches is to start this month, but only as far as Patong. Phuket's transport authorities gave the new hop-on, hop-off service the green light at a meeting this week. The 24-seat buses will run 16 times a day between 6am and 9pm, but for now the bus service will stop at Patong. Some drivers at Qatar and Karon have warned that they will block roads and may use violence to stop the service, which they claim is a threat to their livelihoods. But Phuket's vice-governor has slammed the opponents of the bus plan as selfish and corrupt. Meanwhile, a group of European ambassadors are meeting in Phuket this week to discuss attacks and scams on tourists and expats. Extortionate demands for fares by tuk-tuk and taxi drivers, the lack of public bus service, attacks on women tourists and corruption among police and officials are among the topics to be discussed. After the meeting in Phuket on Friday, the touring ambassadors will also meet with senior tourism and police officials and reports on those meetings will be sent to the Prime Minister's office. Katu district officials on Tuesday arrested three slow loris touts in Bangla Road along with their three captive animals. Acting on a tip-off from the public, the officials cornered the touts in a soy off Bangla Road. It's reported they were charging up to 500 baht for tourists to take photos with the protected primates. The three men were Thai but not from the Phuket area and the officials say they've given up information about another man heavily involved in trafficking lorises and other protected animals. The three captive lorises, meanwhile, have now been sent to a conservation park for rehab and released into the wild. The Thai Immigration Sub-Office in Patong reopens this week. The office on the Tawawi Wong Beach Road, about 300 metres north of the Bangla Road intersection, was built several years ago but had to close because there weren't enough offices to staff it. From next week, the office will be open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Mondays to Fridays, to handle tourist visa extensions, 90-day reports and re-entry permits. Extensions of non-immigrant visas will still be handled by the main immigration office in Phuket Town. About 2,000 anti-government protesters gathered in Phuket's Sapan Hin Park on Sunday to demand the resignation of the poor Thai-led government. Some of the protesters wore white Guy Fawkes masks, which have been used by other anti-government groups around the world, and many carried placards targeting the Thai PM and her deputy. Last week, the deputy PM angered some Phuket Thais with comments that appeared to demand political support for his party before the government would approve a new convention centre for the island. Some protesters also called for an elected governor in Phuket, like in Bangkok or Pattaya, instead of a government-appointed official. No, it's not April 1st, but we're not sure if you can take this story too seriously from the Bangkok Post. The headline, Phuket is likely to be the venue for Thailand's first Formula One race in 2015. The Tourism and Sports Ministry has scrapped the plan to hold the event in Bangkok after protests by environmentalists and residents. But the minister has gone on to say Phuket should be an ideal venue, which meets our target to promote tourism. We think it could be a good idea if the F1 drivers are allowed to pick up tourists at the airport on their way to drive around the potholes of Patong. We'd be interested to hear your thoughts on holding the F1 here in Phuket. Jump onto our Facebook page and tell us what you think. There'll be more news today tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Watch us where you want, when you want. Your smartphone, tablet, laptop, anywhere, anytime. Keep informed and up to date, Phuket's News TV.